All right, first day back since Fourth of July break. Oh, our, our break. But yeah, here we go. Well, that's messed up. Just snipped the wire, huh? Even if it did work, it's not going to work now. That's nice. Well, I don't need that because y'all snipped the cord. All right, so cord is snipped, plug is snipped. So, <clears throat> man, that is nah, that is super heavy. I'm gonna take that apart. All right, not your metal, but not heavy enough to break down. All right, there's one. Ooh. Definitely looks in good enough shape for my mower guy. Let's get <clears throat> all right. Get that up there. All right. Let's get oh. Also in the back. Got some extrusion. Let's get that back here. Put that. Oh, we can't put that in there. Everything in my bed's filled with water right now. Oh, that's a clean old store. Uh, there's water in everything. It's been pouring, pouring. Aluminum, so you can go up there. Oh, I almost forgot about y'all. One, two, three, four bolts, and you're heavy. Alright, so we'll put it right there. Alright, onwards. Let's see if I can pick this up. Hmm. Pretty much disconnected. Hope no one comes around the corner. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick this up into the truck. Let's get it. Let's make sure everything's good inside. And if so, I'll load her up. Nothing. Nothing actually really nice and clean. today hope no one comes out or not comes out but hope no one comes here to come down this street
not stopping it. That would be the bike. find some more good stuff about to check and see what time it is it is 4 a.m. um it's not that we really haven't found much because I technically got started around three ish so only been out for maybe an hour it is a very little i think it's less an hour but either way it's a very little amount for the amount of time i've been out so hopefully it picks up all right let's get going that's pretty heavy now that's because the quills are still in it let me pull up and i'll put that in put that in the trailer does it look like we won't find much more tonight i mean this today i wasn't really expecting <clears throat> to find really anything tonight especially getting started as late as i did I just, I'm just up and didn't want to not go out, you know what I mean? Alrighty, let's get going. Hmm. Okay. I was gonna tear this down but now I'm kind of curious um on if it will work I know it looks super horrible and since I put it up the motor come disconnected from the body which it wouldn't do last night when I was trying to get it up and we're back home if you haven't noticed yet I'm missing something that would be choke and that's moving that's moving and what would it hurt to give it a few because if it does turn on and it produces power which i mean it looks pretty rough but if it does both of those right all i have to do is put what it looks like is just a rubber mount on the back i'm 
me. I don't know if it'd be worth it. I got like six of them now. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Appreciate it. Nah, just haven't done it yet. Name's Danny. That's Gerald right there. How you doing? Oh yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I'm good. As soon as I get a crack, I get it done immediately. So. All right, thank you. Hi. Yes, just. So got that down, got that down. Turn on the fuel. Got the fuel turned on. Plug this back in. Maybe I should get all this line back up. Hold up. <clears throat> all right, there. Okay, fuel's back on. Got that plugged in. I don't know which one of those are choked, so we'll start it off at one. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> because of the rubbers being gone, that actually holds it down. Um, when you pull it, it doesn't stay down. So I gotta figure that out. Hmm. That would explain. Huh. Who's this? Come on, I shut it off. Why are you still draining? You don't even smell like gas, to be honest. plan is to try to get as much tore down as possible get it nice and organized and then go back out tonight um it's just this is getting a little overwhelming i got stuff that i didn't put in here like these printers i never touch printer so i don't know why um it's in there 
plus I got a whole bunch of stuff that's in here that is just holding water um and that's the main thing I want to try to get out there for a minute had to take care of something so still got all of our firework residue laying around you gotta love it when it's rainy season ps2 never end in water huh hey just gotta get some of this tidied up let's see what we got here okay first get the cord That's definitely aluminum or stainless. Still got all of our firework stuff out. Got to take care of that today too. <clears throat> this on the outside, I believe is aluminum. So let's go ahead and see what tools we have with us. Oh, excuse me, fly. single bolt makes it in the trailer can't afford a flat right now all right that is definitely some aluminum find more tools but yeah that that definitely was a one so you just put that to the side for now this oh I forgot to tell you I did plug in the stereo stereo did not work um so It's gonna end up going right back in the trash because it's not enough in it to take to the scrap yard. I mean, I may take that into TMR if I go back to TMR. Um, 
because they do buy electric electronics so This side. Oh. How y'all doing? All right, how you doing? Good. Huh? Working hard. Oh yeah. You know, shooting fireworks at the at the main <laughs> is not a good thing, man. Oh. I still can't believe she acted that way when no one was doing anything. So what he was just talking about, the lady across the street, she rents like the shed or something, right? She doesn't even live inside the house, but she came out literally the second we started shooting fireworks, talking about we were shooting her house, shooting her car, um, all this other stuff with fireworks, saying we were trying to burn her house down, trying to burn her car up, all this stuff. So we ended up uh, having to get law enforcement out here. Because she, I mean, she was going insane. Yelling, cussing, screaming at my kids and all that. Uh, and on 4th of July, I mean, it, it was it was a shame. But when people are lonely, you can't really expect them to act like most, like normal people, right? So, do, do, do. <sighs> All right, let's go see if I got some pliers to take them bolts off. I hate hate how everything builds up so quickly on the holidays mm, that was good coffee all right there's a pair of pliers i need to clean this out too i let it letting it build up too much is getting pretty bad I can't even see it. So. Yeah. So we had a really productive Fourth of July. Had a lot of fireworks. Had your drama. Oh, long story short, cops came. Cops told her that it's not illegal to shoot fireworks. Um, she kept going. Um, they told her if she keeps bothering us, they would take her to jail, not us. So, cops did a really good job. Um, 
Yeah, because her main thing was everything we were doing was illegal. We're criminals for lighting fireworks off. The U.S. does not celebrate with fireworks, which I don't know where she got that from. Because um, every 4th of July, we blow stuff up. Either you do it yourself or you go to Lake Eola and watch it. Or one of the places. Why is this thing not unscrewing? There we go. Oh. All right, one more. I know I didn't start at my normal time. Y'all really didn't get to watch much. But hopefully this makes it up. Be honest I don't even know if this is working but it doesn't feel like it's slipping so Oh, it's definitely going out. This usually happens quite a bit. They're made with cheap material where the hose goes in so it rushed shut. All right. That was pretty simple. One pull, 
it immediately stops letting me pull that doesn't mean it's blown could mean that there's fluid in the spark plug um which, there you go and see if it has fuel before absolutely no fuel main thing I do need to do is get that off no. where's the other pair of pliers that I just had So the idea is to twist it out, but I think it's too rusted in. Oh my goodness. Be honest after seeing this I may not want to try to fix it yeah it may just be the hose but these feel on that side. Pretty grimy too. Now, nah, so the bottom, the pump that is to make the pressure is aluminum and steel so <clears throat> <clears throat> definitely not going to continue trying to tear that down Still got all this to tear down. Let's so keep going. Keg. All right. All this will go to TMR since it don't work. this real quick so I can get in there and snip that all right that is a aluminum motor 
so that is worth nothing because the motor ain't even gonna weigh a pound So what I'm testing is seeing if the coils inside these fan motors are brass or aluminum. So, or copper or aluminum. So if I snip it, and it's yellow, or white, my bad. If it's silver, clear, white, whatever you want to call it, it is uh, aluminum. If it's red, it's copper. one looks copper but it is aluminum it's just oh moment of truth you have to cut this and see if anything happens come on be empty ah it's empty perfect i have not yet went and cut one of those and found it to be filled so been lucky most of the ones I pick up off the ground, I guess, are there for a reason. Oh, that's weird. I was almost sure I walked over here with a Phillips on there. I did. It's down there. Boom. Whew.
something. I'll have quite a bit of rearranging in that trailer. Where are they? There we go. They want to make sure this one didn't come out. So, TMR is paying 50 cents a pound for the cheap boards. That's a 50 cents a pound board and that weighs probably about two pounds with all the heavy stuff on it maybe more Ooh, some aluminum extrusion Last steps. Do 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 do
the heck is that? Yeah, something's not cutting. Don't worry, I will pick it all up. So let's go ahead and grab our copper pieces so we don't forget them on the floor. All the ones in the bed we'll get to when we get to the bottom. So a lot of times when y'all see me put stuff in the truck, I say I'm gonna test it and then it's still in the truck. We test it, we run an extension cord out. I just, I've learned in the past if I carry stuff inside, there's gonna be a good chance it's not gonna come back out for a really long time. So. There's more water. Oh. oh, this is a screw. Explain it.
for any of y'all that don't know why I cut on the inside on some and the outside only on one um that's because there's these lips and majority of the time they face outwards like this so it prevents you from cutting right up against the metal on the outside so you got to pry these off later but when you do it this way you usually could just tap the whole metal thing off and all your copper pieces are already off too so you're good to go on that um let's get our cut cutting wheel because i'm not gonna sit there and try to unscrew that piece Oh, that wasn't even the compressor, was it? That's the compressor. What I just cut off was the fan mount. Oh, man. Why? He all got me. Okay. Oh, do I really want to do that? All that. That goes down. Where'd my pipe go? All right. Oh. 
sealed unit. <clears throat> Empty shell. Get some nice heavy stuff out here. We have a computer. Oh, I need my battery back. Something is wrong. Something's not right. Oh no. That is weird. It's got a few batteries, so. Nope, other side. Yeah, if some of this stuff you don't, you watch all my videos and you don't know where it came from, a lot of times it's not because you missed it. People throw stuff in my trailer on the weekends, or truck, all the time. Um, sometimes there's stuff I have no clue where it came from. So, yeah. I don't know what that one is. Probably just scrap. Um, a lot of my real good boards, I'll send a board sort. Um, but majority of the boards go to TMR. Their prices are pretty close to board sort when it comes to the cheaper stuff.
Whoo! All right, most of this doesn't look like tear down, so I may, I mean, these all are, but those, those are re repeated too. It's gonna be the same stuff. I'll do one. In fact, yeah, let me do one so y'all can see what it looks like. So I got like nine of them. I really don't want to break down all nine while I'm videotaping. Um, so let's figure out which one of these specialties it is. Too big. All right, right there. Let's put that there, there. He should be considered a motherboard. I think that, if I remember right, at TMR, they are read, uh, bought as a motherboard. Yeah, so these right here are bought as a motherboard. You, all you have to really do is clip off the things that have all the weight on them but yeah so technically that's what that is that's a motherboard that's memory um screw I have to get that I do have a walking magnet that I walk around my truck and trailer after every tear down so I just like to not drop them thing pull it off would be to unscrew this Like I was saying before, um, to count this board as a motherboard, you'd have to take off all the heavy. So, clip all these plastic pieces.
um, depending on who's weighing you out there. Depending on who's weighing you out there, you may have to take that off. Um, but to make, I think it's like $3 a pound, which... y'all is worth losing this non-pound of plastic and metal and if they say something about this uh, rip it off there's another high grade board right underneath or what they should consider high grade because there's not a whole lot of big components on it so but yeah that should be considered a motherboard and i'm almost positive they buy it as a motherboard at my location hi isabella Whew. there's a lot of stuff in here Uh, no, because you ain't even got shoes on, child. <clears throat> you shouldn't even come outside without shoes on. You don't even know what you're ever going to step on in the grass or anything. I'll know once I step on it. Yeah, you'll know once you step on it because you'll be crying in pain. Sometimes. Depends on what goes in my foot. <clears throat> all right i think that's gonna be it um we pretty much tore it all down mess to this i'm gonna go ahead and finish tearing down all of these off camera but that'll be our video for today you see me do a little pickup some tear down it ain't a lot but i just want to get a video out there get get restarted back up um because you well know, you always got to get a starter video going, right? It ain't got to be nothing special. It's just got to get out there. But for now, we're going to have to get going. And please remember to like. And subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.